Solve the given Bernoulli differential equation. x multiplied by dy minus y plus x multiplied by y to the power of 3 bracket 1 plus ln x bracket all multiplied by dx is equal to 0. So first we're going to write our equation into this format. So we have d y multiplied by x plus negative y dx, which is equal to y cubed x 1 plus ln of x dx. So we can simplify this further and have dy over dx plus negative y over x, which is equal to y cubed 1 plus ln x. So now we can set our p of x equal to negative 1 over x and our q of x, q of x equal to 1 plus ln of x and our n equal to 3. So now we're going to set our v equal to y to the power of 1 minus our n, which is 3. And so now we're going to write in terms of y. And our y is going to equal 1 over v to the power of 1 half. And now we're going to take the derivative. So we're going to get dy over dx is equal to negative 1 over 2v to the power of 3 divided by 2. So 3 divided by 2. And so now we're going to substitute this into our dy over dx over here. So we're going to get negative 1 over 2v to the power of 3 divided by 2. Don't forget dv over dx on this side. So we're going to have dv over dx minus 1 over v to the power of 1 half times x. So our y, we're substituting it as shown here. And we're going to set this equal to 1 plus ln x to the divided by v to the power of 3 divided by 2. And now we're going to simplify this and we're going to get dv over dx plus 2 over x times v, which is equal to negative 2, 1 plus ln of x. And now if you look carefully, this is written in terms of dv over dx plus p of x times v, which is equal to q of x. And this is known as a linear first order differential equation. So we can find our integrating factor by setting e to the power of integral of our p of x, which is just 2 divided by x dx. And this just equals x to the power of 2. So that is our integrating factor. So now we're going to take our integrating factor and we're going to multiply all terms of our equation by our integrating factor. So we're going to get x squared dv over dx plus 2 over x times v multiplied by x squared, which is equal to negative 2, 1 plus ln of x multiplied by x squared. And now if you look at this side carefully, this is just written in the form of u is equal to our x squared. This is our dv plus our v multiplied by our du over dx. So we can simplify this and we can write it as d over dx multiplied by our u, which is x squared multiplied by our v, which is also just v. We can set this equal to negative 2, 1 plus ln 
of x multiplied by x squared. And so now we can simplify this and we can move this into uh, d over dx to the other side. And we will get x squared times v, which is equal to the integral of negative 2x squared plus x squared ln x. So now in order to solve this side of the integral, because it is multiplying two variables, we have to set our u equal to ln x, and we get du as 1 over x dx, and we set our dv equal to x squared, and we get our v as x cubed over 3. So this is squared cubed over 3. And now we can write this as x cubed divided by 3 ln of x minus the integral of x cubed divided by 3 multiplied by 1 over x dx. And we can simplify this to x cubed over 3 ln x minus x cubed over 9 plus c. So this is the integral of this term. That's the integral of this term. So now we're going to take the integral of this term. So this is going to equal x squared times v, which is equal to negative 2x to the power of 3 divided by 3 minus, so now we're going to multiply our negative 2 by this term over here, all these three terms. So we're going to get negative. 2x to the power of 3 divided by 3 ln of x plus 2x to the power of 3 divided by 9. And for our c, instead of multiplying it by negative 2, we're just going to write plus c because it is still just a constant. So now we are going to take our v and we are going to rewrite it in terms of our um, y, which we set it, we set our v equal to 1 to the power of 1 minus 3. So before we uh, make that substitution, we're just going to divide our x to the power of 2 by all the terms. So we have negative 4x to the power of 9 minus 2x to the power of 3 ln x plus c over x to the power of 2. And this is what v equals to, just so that's clear. So now we can substitute back our v as y to the power of negative 2. So y to the power of negative 2 is equal to negative 4 over 9x minus 2 over 3. So we have minus 2 x over 3 ln of x plus c over x to the power of 2. And that is our final answer. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.